Hello everybody and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. I am Paco Garcia, your host, and this is the How to Publish Your RPG Show, the show in which I give you my insights as a gamer, a writer, and a publisher. So hopefully you will take the plunge and write and publish your own role-playing game, which I'm sure would be amazing. Uh, I want to talk to you today about a very, very, very particular topic that I just want to throw it out there before I say anything. This is not a judgment call for anybody. I don't think there is any right or wrong answers about this. And this is just to spark a little bit of forward thinking on, on your part and consider something that maybe you haven't thought about before, which is charging for your own time. Writing a role-playing game sometimes is a one-person endeavor. We just do the writing and we do the illustrations and we do the layout and we do absolutely everything. And then we put it out there and we sell it for a price or another and, and that's it. And we are all super happy, which is wonderful. It's absolutely wonderful. The thing is that sometimes we don't consider that the time we spend writing and doing our own layout and doing our own illustrations, that is valuable time. And that is time that if you hired somebody else to do, then you would have to pay that person and pay fairly. What is the issue with this? That we end up with this feeling that producing a game costs less than it actually costs. And that could be misleading in a number of ways. Now, I'm not going to judge somebody for giving away things or investing their own time in their own product and their own project with the intention of getting nothing in return. Because I, I believe that producing for the sake of production and just giving things away because you just love it so much is a wonderful thing to do. So there is nothing particularly wrong with it. But it does skew the perspective of production for companies and people who actually need to make a living out of this. The, the situation that happens often is that when we invest our own time and don't consider that that is time that you, it should be paid, you know, say that you've spent a hundred hours writing your role-playing game, I'm just thinking of that number, if somebody had paid you to do that, you might have earned X number of money, whatever. And that adds to the production costs, and therefore it would add to the sale price. But if you don't take that into account, you may think that because it suddenly costs you nothing in bracket, just your time, instead of selling the game for $20, you are just going to sell it for 20 because you didn't see that expenditure upfront. If somebody else who did have to pay for somebody releases a product that is akin to yours and they release it at the price that they need to because they have more overheads, then it's going to feel like that project, that product is expensive. When in reality, it really isn't. It's just that it has more overheads. That is going to, perhaps in some people's mind, produce the idea that one is priced unfairly and then the more expensive, the pricier one is the expensive one, you know, the one that I shouldn't have to pay $50 for this when somebody's producing this for 30. So do I think that you shouldn't produce it for 30? I kind of don't. Do I think that you should keep in mind that those 30 are there because you didn't have to pay for somebody else? Then yes, keep it in mind. The pay means don't stop doing it. Again, there's nothing right or wrong about this. It's a very tricky thing. And I know that some people are going to think that there's something very wrong about not charging. And uh, some people are going to think that, you know, you should do whatever you want. This is a matter of debate. And this is a matter of your own personal decision when you embark on producing your game and publishing it. But at the very, very least, even if you decide to take that expenditure away after all, but keep in mind how long you're spending. And if you were being paid for it, if you have written a thousand, a hundred thousand words for your game, how much would it be if you had paid for it? Because at the end of the day, let's assume that hopefully your game does very well and you need to hire somebody else. 
you are going to have a much, much better idea as to how much money you're going to need to involve people in your game, how much you're going to have to sell, what the price is going to have to be, so on and so forth. So it will help the continuity and the length of the lifespan of your products and your line of work. So again, don't take this as a judgment call. Just take it as something to keep in mind, because at some point, one day, you may want to consider a new set. Uh, let me know if you've ever done anything for you know free in brackets, if you've just invested your time without wanting to get anything in return. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are regarding this topic. Thank you very much indeed for being there, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Take care.